Seventy years ago, Kaf Det Ben November, the 29th of November, was the historic date that allowed what you just saw now to happen. And it's my honor to read to you briefly what happened on that day at the United Nations, as opposed to what has been happening at the United Nations in the last decades, as far as Israel is concerned. The resolution itself is really much too long to read in its entirety. And I want to thank Yuda Pearl for uh, helping me shorten a little bit. 128th plenary meeting, 29 November 1947. President Osvaldo Arana brings the following resolution for a vote before the United Nations General Assembly, Lake Success, New York. Resolution 181. The mandate for Palestine shall terminate as soon as possible, but in any case not later than 1 August 1948. Two, the armed forces of the mandatory power shall be progressively withdrawn from Palestine, the withdrawal to be completed as soon as possible, but in any case not later than 1 August 1948. Three, independent Arab and Jewish states and the special international regime for the city of Jerusalem shall come into existence in Palestine two months after the evacuation of the armed forces of the mandatory power has been completed, but in any case not later than 1 October 1948. The boundaries of the Arab state, the Jewish state, and the city of Jerusalem shall be as described below. And then the president, Osvaldo Arana of Brazil, calls for a vote. Those in favor will say yes. Those who are against will say no. And the abstainer always think they know what to say. Argentina abstains. Australia, yes. Belgium, yes. And the list goes on until we get to the final six. UK, United Kingdom, abstains. The United States, yes. Uruguay, yes. Venezuela, yes. Yemen, no. And finally, Yugoslavia, abstains. The resolution of the Ad Hoc Committee for Palestine was adopted by 33 votes, 13 against, and 10 abstained. And this is how Amos Oz, our great author and poet, describes his experience as a nine-year-old boy in Jerusalem when he awoke and saw everyone out in the street listening to a radio broadcast on that fateful evening of November 29th, 1947. I shivered. Like a frightening dream, crowds of shadows stood massed together silently by the yellow light of the street lamp in our yard, in the neighboring yards, on balconies, in the doorway. Like a vast assembly of ghosts, hundreds of people not uttering a sound neighbors, acquaintances, and strangers, some in their night clothes and others in jacket and tie. The whole crowd seemed to have been turned to stone in that frightening night silence, as if they were not real people, but hundreds of dark silhouettes painted onto the canvas of the flickering darkness, as though they had died on their feet. 
Not a word was heard, not a cough or a footstep. No mosquito hummed, only the deep, rough voice of the president of the assembly, the Brazilian Osvaldo Arana. One after another, he read out the names of the last countries on the list in English alphabetical order, followed immediately by the reply of their representative. United Kingdom abstains. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, yes. United States, yes. Uruguay, yes. Venezuela, yes. Yemen, no. Yugoslavia abstains. From Amosos, A Tale of Love and Darkness, 2004.